this video and every day's videos that I'm going to be doing are for the people who don't have the book. If you do have the book and you're reading along, fabulous, you can join in with us too. But if you don't have the book, I want to make sure that you get a great recap of each chapter. So chapter one today, we're going to be telling a little bit about who Sarah Harnish is, a little bit about her story, and why she chose to build a young living business, and why I think that you should choose to build a young living business too. So first up, Sarah Harnish was a radio news anchor. She was a mother of five children and um, a wife to her husband. They lived a very hectic life because of her hectic schedule. She homeschooled all of her five children after getting up in the wee hours of the morning, radio anchoring, and then coming home midday homeschooling, feeding her family of seven that had very severe food allergies and sensitivities, cooking for them, and then she would go to bed early, miss out on family time, get up to do it all over again the very next day. Now, Sarah loved radio news anchoring. I loved my job that I did before Young Living, but let me tell you what I love more time freedom, which is what I have now, and that's what Sarah has, and that's why she started looking at taking her Young Living business a little more seriously. In 17 months, Sarah hit the rank of platinum with Young Living, which is absolutely outstanding, but it's also very doable. Um, some people move slower, some people move faster. That's okay. The only people who don't succeed with Young Living are the people who quit. Stick with it, follow through, you will rank up, and you will be living in wonderful, fabulous wellness, purpose, and abundance in just a few years, um, or even sooner. So, okay, so first up, Sarah sat down and made a list of pros and cons of why you would want to do Young Living. She came up with these eight excellent reasons of why to choose a business um, with Young Living. Her number one that she talks about that kind of covers all of these is her time freedom, and I just mentioned that. Being able to choose what you want to do every day. Being able to choose to stay home with your child, with your children. Um, that was my time freedom. I was going to work every day as a preschool director, loving on other people's kids, which I love. I still love to work with kids, but I was desperately missing out on my own baby and his precious time as a, as a little baby and a little toddler. Um, God gave him to me to raise. He blessed me to be his mom, and I desperately wanted to stay home with him. So when I got to do that, even though I loved my job, I jumped at the chance to leave because I desperately wanted that time with him. So let's talk about um, the number one reason, and that's no income ceiling. There's no income ceiling. Let that sink in. You can make $100 a month with Young Living, or you can make $800,000 a month with young, with young Living. It's just about how much work you put into it, how big you build your team, um, how duplicable you are. And we're going to talk about all those things. And Sarah lays it so nicely out for us in this book. And I'm going to try to lay it out nicely for you in this game plan online study so that you guys can build your Young Living business and live your dream. Um, so, yeah, there are hundreds and thousands of people in the Young Living organization who are making tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars per month, per month, more than most people make in a year. So that's amazing. So number two, time is never better. It's never been better, you guys. We're looking at restaurants and grocery stores that are getting rid of GMOs. There's non-GMO labels everywhere. There's organic everywhere, and people are buying it. Ingredients are getting simpler. We're, we're reading labels on food. We're reading labels on personal care products. People don't want chemicals in their personal care products. We're learning what these synthetics and chemicals can do to our body and how they've made us so sick. We're learning about fragrance and carcinogens. Okay, babe. Um, speaking of being home with my little guy, there he is. So... People want a better way. They want a better solution. They're tired of just blindly following the FDA and trusting them to, to do the best for us, which they don't do. And so they're looking for a better way, but they don't know the next step to take. So you are there for them to show them how to be a gatekeeper of their household, how to monitor what comes in to their house and how to kick those toxins out and better themselves and better their family and find wellness for their families. Number three. Three, be your own boss. My favorite. Today, I met my friend Crystal at the gym this morning, and we decided on the spur of the moment as we were leaving that we wanted to go shop for some new fitness gear and go out to lunch together. And we spent the whole morning just hanging out, chit chatting, took my little boy with me. We had a blast. I would not have been able to do that had I been working a nine to five. I would have had to call my boss, 
maybe try to take some vacation time, which probably wouldn't have even been able to be happening on spur of the moment's notice, or maybe add 30 minutes to my lunch time. But I couldn't have just taken from eight o'clock in the morning to leisurely work out until um, one or one thirty when we got home, um, just to hang out. So. So cool not to have a boss, to be your own boss. And there's other, there's definitely other perks to that as well. So next up is willable income. When you make $3,000 a month with Young Living, you can get with a lawyer, write up a will, go to Young Living, turn that into them, and your income will forevermore go to your family. Um, God forbid something ha should happen to you. So I can set this up and know that my husband and my son are taken care of, but they have an ever-growing business because this business will function without me. I have leaders underneath me who are building and growing and working their tails off, and I'm so proud of them. Um, and so it's 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 going to keep going. It's going to keep growing. It's going to keep producing income. It's not like when you work a regular nine to five and something happens. Two weeks later, you get the final paycheck and they're done. Um, Number five, you can take time off and still make money. If you guys have been on my team for a long time, you've probably noticed that sometimes in the summer I kind of go MIA. Um, I still try to pop some things up on Facebook. I teach classes for people who ask me to, but I really love to just take the summers and just spend time with my family. I love to travel. It's one of my very favorite things to do. And so um, that's what we do in the summer. And I just, I love it. I wouldn't take anything for it. Um, but the, the thing about it is my paycheck doesn't change. I haven't missed a dime this summer while I've been taken off and having fun. Um, the number um, six reason is relationships. That is the surprise benefit of building a young living business. I have met so many friends who love on me so well and I love them so much and we care about each other. We open our homes to each other. We fellowship with each other. We pray for each other and it has been an absolutely amazing journey. I consider some of my very best friends people who I've met through Young Living. Um, number seven, guaranteed bonuses. Who doesn't love a bonus, right? So there's bonuses built into the comp plan that we'll learn about as we go along and study the comp plan through this um, online workshop. When you get done with this, you're going to know the comp plan forwards and backwards so you never ever leave money on the table. Um, but you also get amazing trips. I earned my silver retreat trip and my gold retreat trip. Airfare paid for. They put you up in a posh five-star hotel. They feed you like kings and queens. They love on you with amazing and generous swag bags full of hundreds of dollars worth of oils and product. It's absolutely amazing and life-changing. You get to go to the farms, and I can't wait to see each of you earn your trips because you're going to love it. And number eight, lastly, financial freedom. I went to a live the first ever live your um or sorry, Live to Thrive conference with our upline, Lori and Jonathan Hopkins. And Jonathan identified abundance. He defined it as unlimited in your ability to give. I've added something to that. I say it's unlimited in your ability to live and give. When you're living paycheck to paycheck, you can't bless somebody else in need. You can't take care of your own bills, much less theirs. And so when you gain abundance, when your page, as your paycheck grows, you can look at look out and see a need and help people in need. You can give more to your church, to charitable organizations that you choose. Um, and also, I add live in there. I just told you guys I love to vacation. I am loving getting to travel more with my family to different places that we've never been. We're right now, we're in talks planning a really big special vacation for my little boy. and He's in the room, so I'm not going to say it right now. Um, but we're so excited about it. It's something that we could have never, ever afforded on our own just three years ago. Um, but Young Living has given us that fun, fun freedom, financial freedom. So we're so thankful for that. You guys, thank you for joining me. I'm trying to keep these videos short. Make sure you hop on and do the chapter one exercises in the post from this morning when you get time. Tonight, read chapter two, and I'll be back to speak with you tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to it. Have a blessed day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.